And then, of course, everybody says Ve'ahavta Ve'achid by right by themselves, but they do. But at the very end, the Chazan will say Adoshem Elokechem Emet. I mean, the Chazan will say that. But if you're but praying the, alone, but does the Kahal do? And then the the Kahal will just say Emet. So same. Yeah, same. Right. But if we're praying by ourselves, instead of saying this here at the very beginning, here we say Kel Melch Neeman, which is Amen. amen. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, a little that's, different. That's the other three words. Yeah, that you're missing right. here. Yeah, exactly. So we put the three words at the beginning yeah. rather than at the end. Yeah. But yeah. it's see, we mean we say "Kain Melech Neeman" at night, alamata. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I guess we follow the same thing. Um, okay. What do you do during the course of the year? Where do I go? What do you what? do? What is your what am I doing now? I mean, yeah, what do you do? For you money? Go to school, oh. go to, what, I don't go to work, school anymore. Do do? Now I'm working. I work, do I work? do computer programming. Oh, you're in, in commerce. Yeah. It means you're commerce. Yeah. yeah. So now what is your interest in this? Well, I'm writing my, I'm doing that so I can write my dissertation so I can become a music professor. Oh, you want to, eventually yeah. that's what you yeah. want to become. Right, exactly. Want, and eventually you want to become a music professor. Right, like K. What? Like K. Like K. Yeah. Uh, now my music my professor, what do you teach? Oh, teach all sorts of things. I mean, you teach the history of music, teach music theory, teach uh, aspect. I mean, I'm interested, you know, in non-Western music, so I've taught, like, courses in, um, you know, all sorts of things in music all around the world, um, Arabic music, Japanese music, music from Java, music from China, all sorts of different countries like that. Plus, in addition to teaching, you know, like the Mozart, Beethoven, Haydn, you know, what teaching What do you teach in that? There are particular forms in the music, like something they call sonata form, which is you know something that's very particular to um, classical music. How, how music is system. how music is composed? Composed and put together, and what particular forms that there are particular. I mean, I listen to the uh, what's the name that famous uh, Jewish uh, musical director. Zubin Mehta? Huh? No. Mm-hmm. Bernstein. Bernstein. Yeah. I listened to a couple of his. Uh, uh, not some funny just talks about yeah, how music right, is yeah. composed and so right. on and so on. Western, I'm talking yeah, about Western like, music. Like, yeah. So it's something on that order. Right, exactly. So like for in Western music, there are particular forms and particular patterns that are in the music in terms of, I mean, very much like how you've described how the makamat, you start on one makam, you go to another makam. In Western music, you start in a particular key, right? It's not so much that you change scales like from major to minor, but if you stay in major and you're in one key, you then switch to another key at another point. And there's a whole pattern and a whole, like, science as to how all that's done. And, of course. You know, and people have really studied that with lots of detail. Sure. And it's important for performers who go to a conservatory to know when they're playing the cello that they know, you know, how they're, how they're playing. Or a Western singer, even a singer. Yeah, I mean, exactly. You want to sing, you exactly. tell your accompanist right, what key you're going to sing right. for and so on and right. so forth. Right. But the particular field that I'm in that I've studied with Kay is called ethnomusicology, you know, which looks at, you know, yeah, that's non-Western that's music. Foreign, foreign music. Right, exactly. So this is really, you know, this is what my dissertation is on, is on, you know, the music of the Syrian community. It's not specifically what I'm doing. I mean, I just work a few days a week just to get money. But I want to tell you, as far as Oriental music, you've chosen really the the, uh, the broadest and the finest yeah. to to make Absolutely. your dissertation on. Yeah, oh, no, no I enjoy it. About it. No, I really enjoyed studying the makamat. You know, I play the oud. Um, I go see hockey, and it's yeah, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. I really enjoy it. Yeah, it's it's very enjoyable. Do you listen to much Western music? Do you have any tapes and things like oh, that? Western music, yeah, I have a lot. No, I'm talking. Right. I mean, oh, Arabic I mean, music, Arabic yeah. Music. I mean, hockey. You've given me some suggestions. Um, I usually ask. What hockey usually does now is now. Is now he each what we did for a while was we we did a different makam every week and he gave me like a short little song almost like not a song but like an exercise and now that I've done that a lot and I can play all the makamat what he's done is he's like given me like a certain song a song of you know um, Farid the Atrash Mukhtham um, or Muhammad the Wahhab and and then he'll he'll have me listen to the original recording. And then, you know, he's, he's usually written out the music. But now he wants me to try and, you know, not do it from the notes, too. Because he's written it. He writes out the music. And so then, you know, he teaches me how to do it. He's also teaching music in one of the schools. Yeah, he's it? retired now. But what he's did he retired. teach? I never asked He taught him. Western music. He, he taught Western music, yeah. Like he, what you're interested in. Yeah, exactly. But he taught, like, in high schools and junior highs, and he taught bands and orchestras and things like that. 
And because uh, he plays a lot of instruments, I mean, he can yeah. play almost any instrument. Of but violin is really his uh, his major instrument. Yeah. But he's very talented. Um, yes. I mean, in Western music and non-Western music. Um, he's a musician. Yeah. Yeah. He's 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 a good teacher. He really, I really learned a lot from him. So he's you know he teaches me a different song every week. That's funny. I never I never got interested in learning the notes. I guess if I you're a singer, I, I guess yeah. if you're a singer, it's not as important. No, the, the, my type of singer is not important. But now I miss it just in order to relate it. Yeah. To yeah. you know because through my younger days I was I strictly I, I sang for my enjoyment for my right. enjoyment. I was not a professional. It was only for my joy. I enjoyed singing very very much, and uh, this was my uh, it was my love. Right. So I wasn't interested in anything else. Right. But now, as I get more and more involved, and I start thinking now of the science of music and how the music came out, and I got more and more involved in it. And later in these, you know, later years, and I say, I think David, my brother, is more uh, conversant with the notes than yeah. I am. Yeah. I think he knows that. Yeah, oh, yeah, about. he sat down and... Uh, yeah, he's more yeah. conversant in Western notes than I am. And... Uh, See, but in my family, I was the singer. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, my, my brothers all just enjoyed listening to me. Mm -hmm. When we were at a party, I, I was the one that uh, that would be, would be singing. I mean, we'd all then after we join and so on and so forth, but uh, I was the singer. And with me, uh, music was my second love, next to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> that was very nicely put. <laughs> and before that, it was before her. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's all the same. All the time I sing, I sing with her mind. You know, David gave me this chart, which has been very useful, that, that shows the notes. Uh -huh, it shows see, how, like, Rast and Nawa, yes, how related yes. they are, Bayat, yes. Saba, Kord, Hijaz, see, yes, how they're I mean, he's familiar with the, no with the Western notes. Yeah, so this has been very, very uh, useful. Very useful. But if, I just want to ask you a couple questions about this particular chart. Um, I think, like, you've, you've described to me that, for example, that there are certain makamat that have p particular associations. Like, anytime it's Brit Milah, it's going to be Saba, Death is, is Hijaz, Ajam is, is Joy, and so on. But I'm curious about some of these other things, like when it may be Bayat or Nawand or, or things like that. It's only because there's, there's a song playing. Where you have your uh, yeah, Pismanian book. Yeah. This is, this is, this, when you take one look, it'll give you the shortest uh, okay. explanation to them. Let's see what it is. Okay. Musica le Shabbat Pereshit. Melech Ozer. Asalo Ezer. Pereshit. He made Ezer to Adam Arishon. He made Halva. That's Ezer to Adam Arishon. Her. Okay? Okay. Yesaro Zach Dov Be Adam. He created Adam Arishon. Good. Pereshit. Right. The Nobe Ran Mekadem. He kept putting him in the head. Right. The Abod El Hekadem. The Shmuel Derek Al Sahayim. The tree of life. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the whole thing. Mm -hmm. That's why. That's why that's we're singing the right. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's why we're singing by act. Okay. Because when there was a pasmon, right. that included much of the subject of that particular parasha in it, mm -hmm. in its essence. So we sing by act. Okay. 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 Let's let's take another one. Okay. Most of them you're going to find that, that that's the reason. And here's another one. El Hayyim Ora, four o three. For the same parasha. The Shabbat Bereshit. We say, we'll say this Pismon. The Abdo Yasar Ha'adam. That's the only reason we're saying the Pismon. Mm -hmm. Because we, we created this Adam Arishon. This is Makam Saba. This is Saba, yeah. yes. But they chose on the other one. The other one probably had precedence over this. Okay. So they chose the other one. Okay. But for something like Noah, it says Siga. Is there any particular reason? Uh, Noah. 
Seeger. No, I, 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 I don't have a reason. I don't have a reason for it. Okay. And let's look at Saba for uh, Britney. Okay. And Vayera? Vayera, Rahal, or Naman. There's a choice of them. Most probably there's a Pismun attached to it. Okay. And this, yes, we know that anything that's right. said, that way we, we say the Hajaz. Toldot Mahur. No, again, no reason. It's just, just variety, variation. Okay. Well, you say it's happy. Ajam already he went. He left. You say I come be Israel. Okay. Again, how many? Very slow. Very slow. Saba or Sigar? No, just a, a choice. Uh, probably there's also some pesmanim attached to it, but that, that's okay. a choice. That's all. Very slow. Now you see the, all of the others, with the exception of a few who are definitely marked mm -hmm. as representing that subject. The right. others are practically choices. Okay. And they attach right, some So you can it. use something else besides the or Siga, right? Or yes. Uh, if, if it's, uh, you could. We, George, we generally don't because everybody is accepting that that's the way it is. Okay. So we don't. Okay. But, there's not. No. but for example, <coughs> no, let me put it the other way. Okay. For example, to pray Hajaz over here, mm -hmm. they will object to it. Okay. Because that's defined for a sad occasion. Although okay. I love the maqam hajaz. I think it's a beautiful maqam. Mm -hmm. And you, Ashkenazim, they use it all the time. Right. Mm -hmm. And I love it. It's a beautiful maqam. But we associate it already with something sad, something, you know, so, like, uh, if he would have made yesterday, Nahari touched on hajaz twice. I mean, I say, look, I'm stick to it. Because even though I love it, Mm -hmm. Don't stick to good because the 15 or 20 that can understand hajaz say, on Saturday night for Havdalah is making hajaz for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? You're supposed, to, you're supposed to laugh, it's supposed to be happy, you know? Mm -hmm. you accept the week already with, with Nashamah Yetaran, you're already coming out from the Shabbat. You know? so, so, in other words, what I'm saying is there are certain maqamat which, if you do say them at the wrong time, you will get criticized. The others, it's not so critical, except. That this is the tradition. This is what we follow. So they open this book. Again, rust. We associate trust always with the beginning of a sefer. Of a sefer. No, no, except that trust maybe is the head of all the makamat. Mm -hmm. Rust is right. the basic head of all makamat. Why? Why is it? Because they feel that that all makamat will emanate from rust. From rust. Okay. Is it true according to your notes? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's true. So now, uh, so so maybe because of that reason. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. so it's at the beginning okay. of the of the safe. All right, so hijaz. Why is hijaz sad? I mean, you say you love it. It's not necessarily sad. Uh, actually, actually, if you say this pure pure hijaz like this other Hassan, uh, who is not very accomplished. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's afraid that when he's pricked the hajaz, he'll just take the deep hajaz and he'll say the whole prayers of hajaz. Mm -hmm. You'll find that after a while, it gets a hold of you. It's, it's, uh, you you want to take it off. He, he has no variety, no variation in it. Mm -hmm. So it's possible that the, the deep hajaz, as it is, is sad sounding. Mm -hmm. There's something about that that, yeah. just, that just it sounds is sad. sad sounding. Okay, sad and sounding. Saba? Sabah is delicate. Sabah is a very Sabah is probably the most delicate maqam that we have. Okay. The reason we attach it to well because for, uh, again, if there's a Barit Milan, you don't right. say Sabah, they'll criticize you. Right. Now I, I happen to be, if I have a Barit Milan in my family. Mm -hmm. I don't always pray Sabah. I'll say Ajam, but wind up with Sabah. Touch on Sabah very much. Ajam and Sabah associate very, very easily. Are you aware of that? Okay. No, that item wasn't, wasn't aware. of that. Even if I'm going to make, I'm going to make taksim, I very often start on a high ajam and come down to saba. Okay. And then I'll finish with saba and go into whatever song I want to sing in saba or pesmon okay. and saba. You're talking about a, a brit milah during the week that any time. Yeah, yeah, during the week when, yeah. they have, when, they have, when you have a brit yeah. milah in the, the place. On Shabbat, mm -hmm. when there is a brit milah, mm -hmm. you'll find that. No matter what maqam he's praying in, mm -hmm. they always say the Kadusha and Sabah. Hmm. Did you know that? No. Yeah. They always say it in Sabah and they'll say it in one, in one of these Sabah songs. Because there's a Brit Milah in the community or in the synagogue, yeah. right? 
Yep. Okay. Oh. Okay. I didn't know that. Most of the time, they make it in at the Ahubi, mm -hmm. the name of the Pizmo. Atahubi? Atahubi. Okay. Now, there's a Bayat song also that's designed for uh, Berit Mila. Okay. Some of the Hazanim that know what will make it there, but 99% they'll say Atahubi, they okay. attach that Pizmo to uh, the. Uh, to the uh, Kedusha. Once they say that, they know there's a Mila. Okay. And, uh, here. Ata Ahubi. Le Mila will Shabbat Lech Lecha. Okay. This is a so usually they'll do that. Okay. Great. Um, okay, like something like Miketz being in Siga. Any? No, there's no particular, no other okay. explanation. Vayigash and Bayat? Yeah. Again, there's no other explanation for them. All of these. Okay. So Sabat, ha excuse me, Saba has a certain delicacy to it. Hijaz has a sad flavor, and Ajam happy. Happy. So has Nahuand. Okay. okay. So is Nahuand. Okay. Now, one of the interesting things, uh, I mean, the questions that I ha also have, is, for example, Siga. Is there anything that Siga is associated with? No. Any nothing, up to, no, no, nothing in particular. Nothing in particular, okay. And is there any... Um, um, is there any reason why Siga is used for the Ta'amim? That's the way the Masora, that's why we received it. I mean, just, just the Masora? Yeah. Okay. What is the Mecham of your Ta'amim? Is there a mechanical? It's can you make it? Is it anything fixed? Um, maybe it's more major, more more like Ajam. Mm -hmm. Maybe more like it's Ajam. So not nice. It's just so. <laughs> no, I mean, that's really that's like Lithuanian. You're yeah. in Yushin. Does it sound nice to you? The the art of Sefer Torah. It depends who's doing it. I mean, it depends on. Oh, on yes, there's some story. artistry that they can do it. Absolutely. I don't think it is to the same extent that uh, that it is for you. I don't think now it you is know the same that extent. <coughs> the but see, most people don't. Most people aren't careful for each time. Each, each time. We are. Yeah. I mean, they might might do zakef katon um, et nachta. We are very atna, particular. We are very particular. Yeah. Yeah. For example, the Korea Shabbat he, if he misses three or four times in the whole parasha, it's a lot. Wow. When I read the parasha. I won't miss. Mm -hmm. And of late now, if I, any parasha that I've read as a youngster, of course, I remember the time. I mean, if right. there's a parasha that I hadn't read as a youngster now, it's a, bad, it's a headbreaker. For me to remember every one. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I mean, I, I've, I was Not trained. Not only that, I mean, I think, Yeah. Because we, the one thing that you want, see, but the, you, you, we, we do not correct on ta missing ta'amim. But you correct on the words. Right. Oh, of course. That's a lot of but we're also c correct on Sof Pasuk, which is Halakha. Uh -huh. Right, yes. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Sof Pasuk, we actually correct the Hazan. And uh, the words, no question about it. But Ta'amim, we do not correct. However, I mean, if a person, uh, 
Baal Kore, he gets up and he's going to do the Amin, then he's going to let him breathe anymore. Right, right. It's as simple as that. When the, when but what I was going to tell you sorry. is that the, 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 the very the proficient Hazanim also, they attach variation to the Ta'amim's mm -hmm. uh, melody. Right. And they'll make, for example, uh, Azla Gerish uh, in Bayat. Mm -hmm. And they'll make it Azla Gerish in Saba. They'll make it Azla Gerish in Nahwand. But then they come back to Sika right away. Mm -hmm. See, in other words, they don't keep singing Azla uh, Gerish's mm -hmm. Sika. That's the simple time. Mm -hmm. Simple. That's with little embellishment. Mm -hmm. Come back to see her. Bayat. Bayat. I have to close it in cigar. So they embellish it. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. They're all given to Nahuan. The song they're really, you know, proficient. Mm -hmm. Ugh, it's delightful. To me, it becomes so boring. I have a towel. Here's the reading of the Pirasha. He's the son of a cousin of mine. And they happen to be. Their mother was uh, the masked king from the, what do you call it? The oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. They have a different, they, they, they see their music is not as delicate. They, although they're both in Syria, mm -hmm. but the, the Damascus music is much, much coarser than the Halabi. Halabi is fine, fine. I mean, do the Damascus follow the same Makamat? Yeah. yeah. Yes, they do. But I say their delivery is not as delicate mm -hmm. okay. as, as ours. So he learned this, the Qur'an Sefer Torah from his grandfather and then more of these Damascenes, rather. And his reading is, comes so not, he, he will not miss three ta'amim in the whole parasha. Mm -hmm. but three. But it becomes so manat, don't you Every is as la gerish, as la gerish, how many as la gerish is there in there? Uh, to me, it becomes so monotonous at the end, like, yeah, yeah, will I like, give it a little variation? Right. Because, because right. I'm musical. Right. See? And uh, the same thing, there's many uh, tabir, dargah tabir, which mm -hmm. is a very delicate note in our karyats uh, Give it a little uh, differentiation. All right, but so I'm just telling you that that's used. Then there's such thing as overdoing it. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> we had a, a fellow here by Riyahi. I don't know if you're here. I don't mm -hmm. know if you ever met him from Egypt, from uh, Israel. And he originally he is from Morocco, but he's a very very fine musician. Sings very delicate. He's learned the, the, uh, very. He's a good musician. Terrific. I'm talking about you know uh, Oriental musician. Terrific. And he reads the Israel Sefer Torah for 50 years, because he knows all the time. But this guy, he changes every time. <laughs> every time, he wants to give it his own. Wow. So, so sometimes, I'm sound the I say, listen, are we reading the Perashah, or are we singing? <laughs> he, changes, wow. he changes a lot. Hmm. One of the questions I had, yeah. I guess this sort of puts like what we were doing earlier and we're this together, that, for example, when it's Makam Hijaz, Okay, for example, which has, as you say, like the meat of it, it has a certain degree of sadness. As you're putting it into, you know, the three pillars of Nishmat, as you described, are the seven different sections that are sung, you know, between Nishmat, you know, Shabbat Anayim, and so on. Um, but as you described to me, Nishmat, you have to use a classic piece, right? And Kedusha. And Kedusha. But for the other ones, you said, are like little ditties. Yeah. yeah. But so, what is that? How, if Hijaz is supposed to be sad, it's sad because of Chaya Sara. Yeah, but there's, what, there's beautiful songs in Hijaz which are still Dari's like. There are, I'm sorry? No, there are beautiful songs, right. Hijaz, which are Dari's. They're, they're right. light. They're light. Right. It's light music. It's, it's time. It's but if Hijaz is, is it supposed to be sad during all of Nishmat, all of Shacharit? It's not. Uh, Yes, you must say yes, because that's the maqam that they pick, right. because it's a sad, it's either a haraymot, or somebody right. died, and, or right. the aigil, which is a right. sad thing, it's a bad thing, and so on and so forth. So they pray this hajaz. But uh, uh, when you come to the other bridge, Shabbat or Samihim now you're in the tefillah itself. So they use a lighter 
piece of Hajaz music, and okay. there is light music in mm-hmm. Hajaz too. Mm-hmm. As I say, I love Hajaz, mm-hmm. but uh, the deep, deep Hajaz maybe yes does create sort of a s- sad uh, atmosphere, sad connotation. But uh, there are songs which are composed basically it's a Hajaz maqam, but they are they have a lot of rhythm, they have a lot of timing. Mm-hmm. So. I mean, does that I mean, so that, that feeling of sadness isn't necessarily all the way throughout Shabbat. No, right? it doesn't. Oh, no, no. Oh, Just I for the major. What you mean. No, yeah. it doesn't. No, no. Even I mean, even uh, what can I tell you? Even when you say that classic piece in the uh, in the in the Kaddish, which is uh, supposed to be sad, still the music does not necessarily mean it's sad. They attach just to the jazz itself a sad connotation. Mm-hmm. Okay. But when I say classic, the, the, the beautiful pieces that I have taught, for example, Nahari and the Kaddish, and Hajaz, they're gorgeous and they're not sad, they're beautiful. Mm-hmm. They're very beautiful. But just the connotation of Hajaz, already you know that. Now, mm-hmm. if you pray all Hajaz, but then don't forget that in the body of the Tiflah itself, mm-hmm. he delves in the Hajaz. Right. He deals with the Hajaz in the body of itself. Mm-hmm. Not in the music, not in the song piece. Okay. This, oh, this is what you should give attention yeah. to. Right, okay. Not in the, no, you're, because you're just directing your remarks just at the song piece. Forget right. the song piece. The right. body of the slaw right. itself is because, right. as you know, we perform the whole slaw. We may right. give it a melody. Right. So that in itself can become, and that's what this fellow does. My God, I guess that's only because he's limited. Mm-hmm. And he's afraid to get out of it. Mm-hmm. And that's the jazz that he knows. Right. I mean, look, you think uh, rust, there's different thrusts. Right. But at the same time, as you said, you also need a little bit of variety. You need to By far, bit. sure. Yeah. I'm not yeah. talking about variety only in the different maqamat. You need variety in the maqam itself. Yeah. In different parts of hijaz. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you could understand that. Sure. I mean, sure. You could develop a judge. You can right. take all the notes. Right. You go to the high note. You go to the low note. You get right. different. There's different. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're right. That's a very important point. It's not just the seven sections. It's... It's it's uh, you know the because the seven sections are a small part of it. It's there's still other sure, things involved. Sure. Yeah. yeah, sure. Okay. All right. Well, that was a a good day. It's worth it. I had such a, my wife has the high blood pressure, oh. and uh, and uh, the, lately in the past couple of weeks it's been volatile. So that, that, you know, she has a machine, we take it, and I give her, you know, she takes the medication, and she's fine, Baruch Hashem. But all of a sudden, it went up very high, my gosh. So I called her, we have a wonderful doctor, she, it's a woman doctor, her heart doctor. She went, as a matter of fact, she went to school with Shiva, to Yeshiva. Hmm. Yeah, flat with Yeshiva. Dr. Elizabeth Moss. So I, 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 I at one o'clock, I called her, I said, Elizabeth, uh, uh, Alice has, uh, her uh, pressure is, uh, what was it, I think, one, 75 or 180 by 112. That's very high. That's high. And to me, that's high. Other people say, that's no, all right. But to me, we're not used to that. It's high. Oh, okay. The worry you have this. Yeah, I know what I have. The worry I have just Zestral. Okay, give her, give her a double dose of Zestral. And uh, check with me later. And I think I'm going to say, we said she was relaxed all day long. <laughs> right. She wasn't uh, uh, under any pressure or anything like that. About two o'clock, she took it again. Now it was 185 by 124. So I call again at 2 o'clock. She says, uh, do you have uh, this? I don't know. She called a certain name of the medication. I said, no, we don't. Well, uh, she says, but I don't want, to, I don't want to take a chance. She'd have a little stroke like she had last year. You better uh, take her to the to I don't know, the emergency uh, uh, admittance in the hospital and let her give her some medication. I first went out at 2 o'clock. We didn't get back till 5 o'clock in the morning. Wow. But she's okay. She's fine. When, when was this? this last week? night. Last night? Oh, wow. Oh. Wow. I'm glad she's okay. She's fine. Thank yeah. God. Yeah, thank God. All right. Well, I'll, I'll do my very best to get that, that cassette for you. Yeah, it should be very yeah. interesting for you, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It'll be very, very interesting. I get one for me and one for you. Yes, 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 <laughs> you'll get this thing okay. a little bit like that. But I find it yeah, very that interesting. Yeah, that sounds good. And uh, <coughs> um, one of these days, what I'd love to sit and talk with you about is... Um, I mean, I guess when you were growing up, I mean, do you remember things about, um, about, um,